Everton have today confirmed that Ashley Young has signed a new one-year contract with the Blues. Young, who played last summer, uh, joined last summer rather, played for the club and uh, played 31 times last season in the league, which I think was probably a little bit more than he expected. It was certainly more than a lot of the fans expected. But Sean Dyche had indicated he wanted to keep Young for another season. He can cover three or four positions. Uh, Ashley Young said it means a lot to be playing here for the final year at Goodison Park. I think it's going to be emotional for a lot of people. We want to make history and be a part of a memorable season to look back upon. Like I said, he's a good utility player, Young, and the manager knows what he's getting from him. Ashley Young knows how the management uh, team works, and therefore it's a, it's a no-brainer, really. I think we all expected it anyway, and it's um, it's one of them, isn't it? It's another player to uh, for the manager to use this season. He covers, like I said, three or four positions, and Everton have confirmed that he has signed a new contract today. Everton are moving closer to a deal for Marseille forward Illiment and Dyer. Fabromano has reported that the 18.5 million euro fee plus 1.5 million euro add-ons has been agreed now between Everton and Marseille. And dyer has been on Kevin Thelwell's wish list for the last couple of windows. He tried to get him last summer before the forward moved to Marseille. Everton simply didn't have the money at that time. To, uh, to compete with Marseille, but obviously things are improving at Goodison financially, and Everton are, have been able apparently to strike a deal with not only his club, but also Ndai himself, who's reported that he only wants to join Everton. Uh, Romano has done the old, here we go, in terms of the transfer, and you know local journalists now reporting that Ndai it's progressing very quickly and should be tied up. I think the positive thing for this is, and I've said it a couple of times, is... Everton moving quickly in this window to get these players in for pre-season. That's massively important, I think. Uh, we will be doing a video on Ilium and Dai tomorrow, so make sure you look out for that one. But it looks as though he will be coming through the door at Finch Farm, making it Everton's third summer signing of the season so far. Uh, Everton have reportedly shown an interest in Manchester United duo Victor Lindelof and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Lindelof played 19 times for Manchester United last season, scoring one goal, while Wan-Bissaka played 22 times. Uh, I think this one has come because the press are trying to find a way that gets Jared Brantway to Old Trafford. It's looking less and less likely Brantwaite is going to move to United, let's be honest, unless they come in with a bid of around 70, 75 million, which is reportedly what Everton want for Brantwaite. Not sure United are going to do that, to be honest, and therefore the press are trying to work out ways that that deal could be done. It wouldn't surprise me if Everton liked wan as a defender, but I just can't see this deal happening unless, like you say, United come in with a bid, Everton can't really turn down. Uh, off the back of that, Everton reportedly also waiting for Wilfred and Diddy to um, to give them an answer. It was reported over the weekend that Everton had offered them a contract. He's available on a free. Leicester trying to keep him. A couple of French clubs want him as well. And we'll have to wait and see whether whether there is anything in that. I think he'd be a good signing on a free transfer. Obviously, hasn't had a great year, but did play a lot of times for Leicester. But 18 months ago, he was really, really highly rated. A lot of the top clubs were looking at him. I think he'd be really good on a free transfer for Everton. But again, we'll have to wait and see whether uh, there's anything concrete in that. And finally, according to Sky Sports today, Bayern Munich are interested once again in a move for Belgian midfielder Amadou Onana. Onana's doing well at the Euros and is a favourite of new Bayern boss Vincent Company. Uh, Everton probably expect Onana to leave this summer, let's be honest. A fee of between 50 and 55 million has been muted for the 22-year-old. So let's hope he keeps smashing it at the Euros and we can push that price up if he is going to leave this summer. It would enable Everton, of course, to have more money to reinvest in the squad. Sean Dykes reportedly wanting another five or six players in this summer, made up of threes and obviously some other players as well. So we'll have to create that money somehow, won't we? So uh, Onana could be off to Bayern Munich. That is it for us. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks very much for watching. See you later.